Yep, welcome to Tales of the Arabian Nights by Interceptor Micros. Um, now, the, the speech, yeah, I mean, it was it was quite uh, unique for a game to have speech back in the day. But, you know, the speech in that is pretty damned awful. There was a program uh, called SAM, which you could basically type in, you know, phonetics, and it would speak, and I think that probably utilises that. It certainly doesn't use the technology that they used uh, in things like Mission Impossible, Beachhead 2. So this is a C64 one, so let's give it a go. We'll certainly keep the music on and also the speech. And if I remember rightly, this game is nigh on impossible. Now the idea of the game, I believe, is to... Ah, right, what we need to do, yeah, we need to collect a... Right, so what do we need to do here? Do we need to jump? There we go. <laughs> yeah, you're trying to collect the... the letters in order. Oh, bloody hell! Now, if I'm not mistaken, I think this is written by the same uh, the same dude that did uh, China Miner. Bloody hell, and it's just as impossible. Ha <laughs> <sighs> Alright, let's try again. Um, so... Oh, bloody hell! Right, what now? Bugger off! Come on, no way! Right, we need you now. Can we just fall down, possibly? Can you hell? Where can we go now then? If we can't fall, we can't go down. That thing's gonna kill me. Piss off. Oh, bugger off. Come on, no way. It's impossible to avoid that thing. Right, one more go and then we'll move on to the next version. I wonder if we can... Oh no, I've still got to go back that way and get the... Yes, you've got to go this way. I 
don't know how you're going to get down for there. That's just absolutely nonsense. Well, I think suffice to say I have found, should I ever complete China Minor? <laughs> yeah, like that's going to happen. I think I have found the, the, the spiritual successor to that game. I am genuinely befuddled as to what you're meant to do. Because you can't go down. I don't want to swear at many games, but trust me, this is one of them. How can I get down? Right, enough of that. That is the C64 one. Let's move on. Right, this is the, uh, the Amstrad one. Let's hope it's not as unplayable as the... Uh, C64 one. Oh god, it's got that blasted Death March tune which blighted virtually every early computer game. Oh come on, how did I fall off there? Graphical wise, why does it keep falling off? Graphically wise, other than it being a bit, it's monochrome, at least the graphics are quite detailed in this. Right, now how do we get down? How do we get down? die here if I fall off. Yep, I am genuinely baffled as to where you're supposed to go. <laughs> I think Ian Grey must officially hate me. Also, his quest in life to make me suffer, dearie me. No, oh, piss off. Am I playing this wrong? The thing is, you've got to get that A, that A at the top cannot be the last letter you collect, so you've got to be able to get down from there. Right, one more go. Jesus, this is just as bad. It might look a bit nicer than the C64 one, but it's just absolutely unplayable beyond belief. How can I get rid of that thing? Piss off. Off, seriously. <laughs> yep, as far as unplayable games go, this is right up there. It is just utterly, utterly, utterly unplayable. Oh, piss off. 
Right, I'm going to do a demo. Let's have a look at the demo. Come on. A demo means it's a demonstration. Or does this mean it's just going to let us see the different screens? In other words, well, why is it added down, so why is it making me play it again? Oh, piss off. Right, that's the Amstrad one. It can piss off as well. Right, okay. Thankfully, this is the very, very last version. This is on the Spectrum. Now, there was a version released for the Electron and also one for the BBC, but I could not for the life of me get the joystick to work, and it doesn't appear they can uh, support keys. So, yeah, let's batter in. Hopefully, this game, uh, the, the Spectrum one, will redeem my faith in the game, and we'll actually see that it is indeed playable. So, let's pick up that. Graphics, garish. What else do you expect? It is a Spectrum. Oh, piss off. A complete lack of sound. Obviously because it's trying to push some really, really tough, tough visuals. <laughs> now, if I'm not mistaken, it appears that you can, just when you're on the first level here, you can actually die. It looks like your character's a lot bigger than the character in other versions. Right, get that. And let's go up here. Okay, right, we've got that. Now, if we walk off to the left, going by other versions, we're going to die. You cannot. Pulling down does nothing. Pulling down with jump does nothing. Pressing up with jump jumps. There is no apparent way to get down. So let's try and walk off here. We'll just wait for that, that thing to pass. Dead. Right, okay. So I am absolutely stuck. So we can't walk off that way, so presumably if we walk off that way it's going to be the same fall and we're going to die. Do you land on the bird possibly? Well what we'll do is we'll leap, since we can't, let's try and go in the bird. Right, you die when you hit the bird. Right, get, come on, get that. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, I, th I thought I might be able to jump up and just headbutt the A. Right, so we can't, hit, we can't fall off there, we can't fall off there, you can't land in the bird, so presumably you've got to do a leap of faith, so let's go for it. Yeehaw! <laughs> right, am I missing something? Seriously, what is that? This this game is impossible. So you can't collect the letters, and they've got to be picked up in the right order. It would make sense if you could pick them up in any order. So how do we get off of here? Seriously, how do we get off of here? Right, the only way we've not done, we've jumped, we've done a leap of faith, we've walked off to the right, you can't land in bird, so the only other way is to go down this way. And you die. You know what? What an absolute pile of shite. Seriously. 
I'm not even going to rate them because they're all equally as bad. They're god awful. A terrible, terrible game. Right, that is it. I have had enough. Play that game at your peril. If you do, you're a sick, sick puppy. As always, guys, thank you very, very much for watching.